Hello, today we're going to talk about radioactive fallout. Radioactive fallout, at a minimum, can cause radiation sickness, but it can also cause death. Welcome back to Survival Existence. Today we're going to talk about being exposed to radioactive fallout. Not necessarily the direct effects from the radioactivity in the initial pulse of, an radioactive, uh, of a nuclear explosion, but the fallout that uh, will come following the uh, explosion from a nuclear weapon. This also will cover uh, being downwind from a dirty bomb and also downwind from a nuclear reactor that's become damaged in, as emitting radiation. The issues with a dirty bomb or even a uh, damaged nuclear reactor, reactor that's uh, emitting radiation, those two particular items, the, uh, the radioactivity spread into a wide area will be much smaller. And relatively limited as far as its, its dangerous effects and to a small area. A radioactive weapon is a different ball game altogether. When a nuclear weapon is set off, it not only irradiates in the initial radioactive pulse, which will literally burn you like a matchstick if you don't have cover, but it also picks up a great deal of dust and sends it many thousands of feet into the atmosphere and it expands the coverage of the radioactive fallout area dramatically. In just a minute, I'll be back. The name of the game after an event that has caused a release of radiation is to limit your exposure. Of course, the best possible scenario would be to have a fallout shelter that's uh, below ground and also has uh, air filtering and water filtering capabilities. That's simply not realistic for most people. Um, it's always good, of course, to have water stored as preppers. We know that for many reasons, not just a nuclear accident or an explosion. But nonetheless, your house breathes, and that is a problem whenever nuclear fallout comes to visit. And the uh, primary thing that you really want to do is limit your exposure. Therefore, you try to seal up the house that you're living in or apartment as best you can. And the best way to actually seal up a home is to use plastic and tape. These two items, a fairly good brand of tape and also plastic. You cut the plastic to fit your windows. Then you tape the plastic down to seal it out. Whenever you tape plastic around your windows to make it airtight, don't tape it to your window facings because the gap, and there's always as small as it is, the gap between the wall and the facing and the window casing itself, and air will pass through. So you want to tape it to your wall on the outside of the window casing and the trim work. And in most cases, you're also going to have to cut the width to the correct size for your window. And even if you have to, you can piece together pieces of plastic if you don't have quite enough in order to cover your windows. Mm -hmm. 
obviously putting plastic up over your windows can help and it helped dramatically but it is not the cure-all of cure-alls it's far better to be in a in a uh, actual fallout shelter but nonetheless you're not normally going to be in close proximity to a fallout shelter you need to be able to quickly put plastic and tape around your windows and doors and even vents such as a uh, an exhaust vent inside your bathroom the sooner you can get your windows and doors covered the better off you'll be obviously um, and don't forget those vents plan to shelter in place at a bare minimum of 48 hours a full two days um, radioactivity due to fallout will be one one hundredth of a percent as strong after 48 hours under normal circumstances and if you can at all possibly do it you need to stay sheltered inside not going outside at all for approximately one week and it helps dramatically within a week and after or perhaps even two weeks after a good heavy rain uh, generally fallout is only one one thousandth as strong as it was originally when it first fell but do be careful when you first venture back out because all your low areas such as rivers lakes ponds and so on and so forth water will wash the radioactive dust into these lower areas and they will become quite hot compared to the area around you unless you're in the low area this has been Bobby with Survival Existence, helping you help yourself. Come visit us on Facebook and visit us at our website at survivalexistence.com and like our videos. Good day.